Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to part three of Space Chicken, which is in the Ready Maker software. Um, the only thing that we're going to do in this video is we're going to get the asteroids to clone and spin on their way down in the game. So as you can see in the actual game here, as I'm moving my character, you can see the asteroids are randomly dropping and I have to avoid them in the game. Okay, so there are two events that we have to do for this and there are two objects that we have to bring into the game. So here we go. So going back into my progress here, I'm going to hit edit. <coughs> First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go up to the plus. And I'm going to hit basic shapes. And I'm going to bring in a bordered square and bring that up top. Okay, I'm going to try to make this even with the left side of my work here. Um, but for now, I am actually going to put it in my game. That way, when I hit play, you can see the cloner. Okay. Because that's going to be the cloner, the box that moves from side to side across the top, that actually releases all the asteroids randomly, even though it's not so random. Okay, um, so we need to be able to see it at first. Okay, so we have a bordered square here. Uh, we're going to go into appearance and we're going to turn off solid. Uh, the size of it doesn't really matter. You could make it a little bit smaller if you want, but it, it's going to be out of the frame anyways, and you're not going to be able to see it. Okay. Um, but we do have to add a behavior to it, and that behavior is going to be a movement behavior. We want this to move back and forth from left to right, okay? So if we add a bullet behavior, you'll see that we have a speed, which we're going to back down to about 1. Anything higher than that is a little bit too fast. Um, and we have the direction, the flow direction, which we're going to leave at 0. We want it to move to the right, okay? So if I close out of this here and I hit play you'll see that that's, that cloner moves across to the right side. Okay. Now the problem is that's going to continue going off to the right forever and ever, and we need that to stop and come back at some point. So what we need to do is what's called a conditional. We need to actually do some coding here. If you go up to the stoplight, I'm actually going to erase the other ones that I already have. We're going to add a new event. You're going to choose an object, okay? And the first thing is going to be a system variable. So system runtime. Um, repeat every and we're gonna repeat this every three seconds so basically what this means here is it's saying when this happens when it's been three seconds of time what do you want to do well we want the cloner which is the bordered square okay uh, to bullet movement and mirror velocity which means that we want it to move in the opposite direction every three seconds okay so when I hit done here and I hit play you'll see that my square after about three seconds will stop and come the other way. And then three more seconds, it stops and goes the other way. So you can see that it goes a little bit long up in that top stretch there, and that's okay. If you want to get crazy with it, you could go back in, change this time. I think like 2.8 was working for me before. But you want to get it to work for your system and not always for mine, um, because sometimes it is a little bit different. Okay, So we'll hit done there, we'll hit play, we'll try 2.8. 2.8 8 looks good. Okay, so now you're going to take this and you're going to move this outside of the actual game space and leave it even on the left side, but outside that space so that you can't see it. Okay, uh, next thing, you're going to bring in the asteroid. So go up to the plus, go to the artwork tab, type in SC space. You'll see where the asteroid is. You're going to click and hold that, bring that in, drop it off. You'll see it's, it's very large at first. So, you know, the size, again, it could be anything you want it to be, but for me, and actually for Mark as well, what worked out was 0 0.04, okay, or 0.4, sorry. Um, we don't want it to be a solid. We have something, and by the way, instead of scrolling down with your mouse here, which takes forever, if you click and hold and bring it up, it goes a lot faster, okay? So the other thing we have to do is we have something called a collider, okay? When something hits this object, uh, if we wanted it to be the shape of the actual asteroid, that would be what's called a polygon collider which is a little bit, it slows your system down a little bit. It's a little bit more advanced of a shape. Um, so what we do is we kind of keep it simple, especially if you're going to be playing on mobile or on an iPad. We want this to be probably a circle collider, okay? Um, we also want to add this to a class. So when I'm clicked on this asteroid here, and I, well, hang on, let me just double check that we turned everything the way it was supposed to be. Solid is off, size is good, okay. Um, the asteroid, if you click on this classes down here in the bottom left corner, you can see it says um, create a new class, which I already did, and you're going to create yours and call it Asteroids. And you're going to make sure that this Asteroid is in the Asteroids class, and then you're going to click out. 
Now the reason for this is very simple. The, ch the chicken and the background, we only have one of each. So when we program it and we say, hey, chicken, do this, or hey, background, do that, there's only one of them that we're calling out to. We want to be able to call out to all the asteroids at the same exact time with all of the same code. So in order to do that, we, we label it as a class, and then we tell the entire class to do something. Okay. So now you can see that when we're in here, we're going to add um, we're going to add two behaviors to this asteroid. It will add it to every asteroid that actually comes out in the game. Okay. So with behavior, the first thing here, let's do this first. Let's move this into the game, and I'm going to hit play, and you're going to see that it's not going to do anything. It's just sitting there right now. So we want these to move down, and we want them to spin. Okay. That's two different behaviors. All right. So clicking on the asteroid, if I go to behavior and I go to add behavior, I'm going to clear my search and I'm going to use a bullet behavior and I want that to be in the down direction which is 270 and I want to slow this down and make it about 1. 1 is generally the happy number for everything that we're doing here, okay? And then hit play. Now don't forget that this is not our cloner, uh, this is not being cloned, this is just our asteroid that, you know, our, our random asteroid that we're putting in our game. But really, we want this asteroid to be outside of the frame, and then the cloner is going to clone all of these asteroids over and over again. Okay. Um, so the next thing, clicking on that and going to behavior again, adding another behavior, we're going to use rotate. Okay, so click and hold on there and put that in here. Uh, the RPMs, you probably want to back that down to about 10 or 8 or 10, somewhere around there. Hit play and see what that does, and that looks pretty good. Okay, so that's just one asteroid. So now go ahead and move that out into the abyss. Go back to our coding section and create a new event. Okay, this first event was called uh, cloner move. So that was just the movement of the actual cloner itself. And we can squash that. The next one, add new event. We're going to call this one clone asteroids. In order to clone those asteroids, we need the system runtime uh, repeat every and this is gonna be about every 3.5 seconds okay so basically it's saying hey every 3.5 seconds in the game we want the cloner or the bordered square by the way if you want when you click on this and appearance you can change the name of this to cloner so now in here you can say now the cloner when that uh, sorry that's going to clone an object and it's gonna be the asteroid object and then hit done Okay, so hit play, and you'll see that just about every three seconds, which we have the cloner set on, we get an asteroid that comes out. 3.5, I think we did. So if you think that those asteroids don't really line up the way you want them to, they're coming out too fast or too slow or, you know, not randomly enough, you can mess with those numbers yourself and get exactly the, the perfect spot that you want. Okay, that's pretty much it for this video. So now we got our chicken. He's moving around. He can't, he can't be hurt yet by these asteroids. Um, but you know he he will in a, in a couple of videos. Okay, we got the asteroids moving down. We got the background background flying down. Everything looks good so far. All right. So thanks. Thank you guys for watching. I hope to see you guys in the next video. That's going to be part four. Gotta catch them all.